And I did play football. Like, I played football growing up. Played for San Marcos High. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I wasn't good, but that team didn't have cuts. So I got to be honest. I played on a team with no cuts. The only, like, the only way you could get cut from the team is if you missed a practice, you know? And I never, I'm sure the coaches were like, I wish this kid would miss a practice. But I never did. I was there every day with my little helmet going, yeah, what's up? I played middle linebacker. That's what I played freshman year. I was a middle linebacker. I was a six-string middle linebacker. Good. Some of you already know what that means. If you don't know what that means, I'll explain. Six-string middle linebacker means that, like, for me to see the field, about five kids got to die, all right? I got to hope one of the buses gets lost on the way to the game. Otherwise, no playing time for the Z-Man. There was one game where I almost had to play, and it was the most terrifying day of my life. I still remember it. We were playing against El Camino High, and they had a running back that year that I think was just a full-grown man. <laughs> I think an adult was like, I want to injure children. And they let him. They gave him all the necessary equipment. He went out there, hurt a lot of kids that day. Mainly middle linebackers. One after another kept coming out and slowly it was coming down to me. And like, I always wanted to play, but not in this situation. This is a, like, I always thought like they'd slip me in like the blowout, like a fourth quarter blowout situation. Like I run in there, get a cheap sack at the end, like Rudy, and they could carry me off like I did something. Those were my goals, not this. This is a suicide mission. So scared. It came all, this is how close it got to me. It came all the way down to fifth string, who's a friend of mine. His name is Anthony Castellanos. And he and I never saw the field. So this is a terrifying moment for both of us. And right before he ran on the field, we had a moment where we just looked into each other's eyes and he was just like, I'll see ya. <laughs> and I watched him trot out onto the field. I watched him disappear in the fog. And now I'm, I'm, I'm scared, because it's midway through the third quarter, all right? There's a lot of football left to be played. And I'm like, please just make it till the end. And I wish I could tell you he did, but he didn't, all right? Anthony lasted one play. That's how long he lasted. He went in, the play happened, the whistle blew. I saw him come back, he emerged from the fog. But he's coming out like this now. He's just like, uh-huh. And I heard him yell from like 30 yards away. I've never heard a human make this noise before. But he just came out just like, ah! 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 He stepped on my face! Now I'm terrified, okay? I don't know how much you guys know about football, but it's hard to get your face stepped on. There's like a helmet and a face. There's a lot of equipment between you and people's feet. And somehow he got his face mush with a cleat, mind you. And now I'm on the sidelines going, I can't go in there. I got sensitive cheeks, all right? I'm so scared, but that's when I found out like the one positive to being a six string middle linebacker. That is so damn low on the depth chart, all right? The coach didn't deem it necessary to put on his game day clipboard. So he didn't know who was next. He's just running up and down the sidelines going, do I have any more linebackers? I need more linebackers. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm a kicker today. <laughs> Been a kicker all year, coach. Start working out, stretching my hamstring, checking the wind. <laughs> That's right, I was a coward in that situation. I didn't go in. That's because I wasn't, all the other kids had their dads in the stands yelling stuff like, leave it all out on the field. This is your day. My mom would come to those games, but she wasn't yelling that. She was yelling, hey, we don't have any health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted, ma. <laughs> Try playing football knowing that if you get hurt, it's staying that way. <laughs> it takes a hustle out of you. I also wear contact lenses. I know you can't tell. That's the magic of them. But I didn't get them until after I graduated from high school. So when I was in high school, I wore regular glasses. Like, you were just right there. Yeah. And, but I wouldn't wear them when I played because I didn't want some final destination injury. So I used to just be out there blind. Like, the times I would be out there, I w I'm a middle linebacker. I don't know where the ball is. I'm just kind of out there just going. And I would see, like, a clump, clump of kids going that way. I'd be like, hell yeah, all right. 
and I'd never see the ball carrier till like five yards in front of my face. I'd be like, there he is. And I'd hear my mom's voice in my head, we don't have health insurance or right this way. <laughs> Success and glory that way, young man. Get all you can get. <laughs> Foot, uh, freshman year was my first year playing football. I never played Pop Warner. So when they handed out all the pads, that's when I found out that most football players don't wear cups, which was news to me. That sounded like a pretty important piece of equipment. But most people didn't. I remember they gave me all the pads and I'm holding them. I'm like, where's the cup? And they're like, oh, we don't hand that out. You can go get one on your own if you want. And I'm like, I want. <laughs> That sounds so important. Like helmet number one, boom, helmet number two. Like that's very important. I guess I was wise enough at that age to at least see what everyone else did. Not that I was like egregiously in the locker room just looking to see who was wearing a cup, but you know, I was side-eyeing the situation. And there's only one other kid on the team that wore a cup. His name was David, and he got beat up every day for it. You know? And I know now we live in an era where we're very against bullying, which is good. But this is the early 2000s when we were against bullying, but eh. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like there weren't any public service announcements about it. There's no commercials, no ad campaigns. It was just like coaches would be like, hey, can you guys stop beating up David? And we'd be like, mm, no. <laughs> we really enjoy it. So that was the era we were living in. So I wanted to wear a cup to protect myself, but I didn't want to get beat up like stupid David over here. So my genius idea when I was 14 was to put my cup on in the morning before school under my underwear. And I, yeah, I'm telling a room full of strangers this. And I would wear it all throughout the day. And then at the end of the day, I'd quickly put my football pants on and no one was the wiser. Shockingly, I never got busted. I never got caught. There were some close calls. Like, I remember in the classrooms, remember the aisles were super narrow? You'd get to your little desk, so you'd I'd have to weasel in there to get to my chair. And one day I was weaseling in, and I accidentally bumped the corner of one of the desks, very lightly, just bump, and it sounded like. <laughs> and everyone's heads popped up like prairie dogs, like, what the hell was that? And I'm like, oh, I'm not wearing a cup. That's not what's going on here. You guys need to calm down. That's how it was. I like the camaraderie of it. That's what I liked about it. That's what I like about team sports. Just hanging out with my friends. I didn't really like the games that much or cared if we won. That's what I was into. Yeah, I just liked hanging out with my buddies. I never got into the rah-rah speeches. Coaches would give us these like speeches, like these doomsday Armageddon speeches. And everyone else was like, yeah! And I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't know if I agree just come out here like, there is no tomorrow! There is no tomorrow! And all my friends were like, ah! And I'd be over there like, eh, tomorrow's Sunday. All right, like, I have plans. What the hell is this guy talking about? <laughs> That's how it was out there. I like it. I don't know, I feel for coaches out there. Like if anyone coaches high school football, I don't know how you guys do it. You know? Did you get fired? if these 14-year-olds can't get it together. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? If these 14-year-old losers can't figure it out out there, a grown man and his family have to move. Isn't that dumb? Can you imagine that, just going home to your wife? We're moving! And she's like, why? Because they found out there was a tomorrow. All right, I don't know what to tell you. Get my resume together. They're 14. <laughs> It's tough. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. <laughs>